Welcome back. This is LearnFreeDiving.com. I am Master Instructor Rudy Castineira, and today I want to talk to you about evolution. Yes, evolution. Specifically, the one that started with a big bang. And from there, through clouds of dust and explosions of gases and massively violent upheaval and constant change through billions and billions of years, we ended up with constellations and stars and planets, much like our very own beautiful blue dot in the sky, planet Earth and once on Earth, life, starting, of course, in the oceans, first with minuscule, simple organisms, and then branching out into ever more complex ones and bigger ones. And then onto Earth, from the tiny ones to the terrifying ones to the big ones, and then onto the skies, all of them magnificent in their uniqueness and in their beauty, culminating that long evolutionary chain in us, the possessors of one particular trait that makes us different from almost any other species. And if you thought that I was going to say intelligence, well, no, not really. I don't really think that a species that seems so bent on destroying their own planet could be called intelligent. No, I'm talking about something called bipedalism. Let me say it again, bipedalism. And that means simply species that stand on two legs like we do, leaving the other two extremities that we have, our arms and hands, free. Free to do what? Well, to pick up things, to build tools, to evolve in a way where we don't need to occupy all of our limbs in the act of locomotion. And with that specialization, if you will, have come certain adaptations that are not only unique to us, but also necessary so that we can perform in this upright position that we live in. And one of them is the act of respiration. Yes, indeed, our breathing process is actually geared more towards being more efficient when we are in an upright position. That does not mean that we cannot breathe well enough when we are in a horizontal position, such as, for example, when we are sleeping. But our bodies have evolved in such a way that when we are in an upright position, our lungs, for example, will be able to expand 20 to 30% more than when we are in a horizontal position. And all of the muscles that are involved in the respiration process our intercostals and all of the other muscles that allow our thoracic cage to open and expand so that our lungs inside of it can expand as well. All of that structure, that muscular structure, also works much better when we are in an upright position. And that is really bad news for free divers because as we all know, when we free dive, we need to be in a horizontal position floating in the water. We will either be floating on our bellies you know, face down, breathing through a snorkel, which will become even more inefficiency. And if you haven't watched our two-part video on the snorkel, on all the specificities of breathing through a snorkel, I'm gonna put a link in the description below because you should watch that video. In that video, we explain to you why the snorkel actually makes our breathing process so much more inefficient by adding extreme amounts of rebreathed gas, carbon dioxide, and by bringing in very little fresh oxygen to the point where it can become not only ineffective, but actually dangerous. So what if instead of using the snorkel, we decide to breathe in a horizontal position, but floating on our back, like so many free divers do nowadays? Well, yes, that would be much better, but still, 
Our bodies are floating in a horizontal position, which greatly restricts the mobility of all of the respiration muscles, as well as the capacity to expand of our lungs. Now, back in the 90s, when I first started training world champions, I decided to take a very comprehensive look at all of the things that I could change or optimize or completely rewrite from the ground up in order to give my trainees every possible advantage in the pursuit of these world records. And one of the things that I decided right away is that I was gonna make it so that they could breathe sitting upright in the water. And thus, we came up with this platform that you see here that every one of our trainees has used ever since. A platform that basically floats in the water, it is self-contained, it has a, a tubular structure that also holds the descent line as well and allows the diver to spend time breathing and preparing out of the water dry without getting cold and it has the added bonus of allowing the TV cameras on nearby boats to actually be able to take images of the diver and it also allows us to have stickers of all the sponsors participating in this event and so is there a way in which we could attain the practicality and the benefits of breathing in an upright position without having to log with us such a massive structure? Well, yes, there is. The only problem with this is that although it is lightweight enough, it is a mechanism that is highly complex, extremely sophisticated, and requires extreme preparation and training to assemble it together. So, are you ready for me to tell you what this complex bit of machinery is? Here it is. Yes, like I said, highly sophisticated, complex piece of machinery. Styrofoam noodles, the kind that kids use all over the world to play around in pools, at the beach, and playgrounds. This stuff can range in cost anywhere from cents to just a couple of dollars all around the world. In fact, I have even seen these up for sale in the Sahara Desert in Egypt, not very close to any beaches that I could see. We get a couple of these together or more if needed, and we stack them together, and then we tie them up at the ends, either with zip ties, tie wraps, or with a piece of rope until we make a longer structure of them. And by the way, you can use longer ones. These are shorter ones that I just found laying around, but we use longer ones. And then with these, you ready? We simply make a chair. And on that chair, we sit in the water and voila, we can breathe upright. Let me show you right now a video of our fellow instructor, Yasemin Dalkilish using one such made contraption so that she can breathe upright in the water. Here she is. And yes, as you can see, Yasemin is only using about two of these, which are enough to support her weight on the surface, and from there, she enters the water. And as you notice, when Yasemin is coming back to the surface, they make the perfect platform to recover after a dive. As you will see here, as soon as Yasemin breaks the surface, she just grabs the noodles and she rests with the noodles under her armpits, which is one of the more desired positions for rescue and rest while immersed in the water. All right, you will be able to gain that extra 20 to 30% long expansion, which is really important, plus the added comfort that comes from keeping your face out of the water without having to use the snorkel, without having to get the occasional mouthful of water back into your stomach, all your lungs, and it'll give you the peace of mind of sort of being able to survey what's around you while you are preparing. And now, a message from our sponsor. And so, this is a great offer. Enjoy. 20 to 30% extra long capacity and no additional cost, comfort, relaxation, all of it in this incredible offer. Are you ready to do it yet? Please do so. Until next time, this is LearnFreeDiving.com. I am Rudy Castineira. Please be safe 
and breathe upright. 